Hello, and we're trying out, since we got to rank 5, I think quite easily with our token guru deck, even after the nerf. Could look at my other videos for that. So we try out a new deck since, you know, we capped at rank 5, we can't go lower than this, so we might as well have a bit of fun. Shall you see if we've got a surprise one of my other decks are surprisingly strong. Um, we're going to try the Murloc Shaman deck. And basically it's, it's like your regular Murloc Shaman, like your quest Shaman deck, but without the quest, because usually the Murlocs win the game by turn 5, and by that point the quest is kind of useless. The quest is only useful against <laughs> There's like tempo decks which can keep up with everything. Um, yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Um, maybe we should swap around the echo card, that's more for later. Um, anyway, then, so my calculation is why have waste one mana? We could play your one mana here. <coughs> So if you play something, I'm going to freeze it. Um, hopefully we'll get a few Murlocs on board before we can do anything. Right. So, so you, I hope you will, will understand why I don't pick the quest. Well, the real reason is because I'm making an excuse because I don't want to spend the 1600 dust. But, you know, there is some rationale behind just playing Murlocs without the quest. You get that you've got this on the board now. Eh? It's cool. It's a quest. Oh dear, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Um, I'm just waiting for him to play something. So he's going to automatically buff this up every turn. He has to kill this very quickly, otherwise the game will go out of control. Spirit Lash. Mind if I roll me? Ah, of course, one minute. This should actually be extremely easy because he is playing. He's playing Death Rattle cards, which means. <clears throat> Now he wants me to kill his Blitz Rattle, but I've got a Burrow Lock, which is really good opening start, especially against this deck. One minute, just so you see what my deck is, I'm going to get the deck tracker up. Okay, so that's good. So two Burrow Locks are really good, because he doesn't have that strong removal, I, I believe, to start off with. He can heal up 7 or 8 with the Spirit Lash, I guess. Get his card. Mm. We'll see. But he needs some serious removal. Uh, Shadow Word Death is not good because it's only single target removal. Spirit Lash, Holy Nova is the, or is only option. So, if I, well, there you go. Yeah. There's a Spirit Lash. As I said, and he's going to try putting another. Death Rattle card down and then try to resurrect them. Here we go. Ooh, we've got the Bloodlust for next turn. Should we just put down two Murlocs just for the sake of it? Yeah. So another Spirit Lash will remove quite a lot of my damage off the board. But he definitely needs that Spirit Lash. Holy Nova, coin out of Holy Nova. Yeah, oh well. There we go. That's our board gone. My beautiful oh no! Creations. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. 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 I could probably win the game with Bloodlust here. Let's just double check. Oh, right. Uh, how much damage? Are? Two, four, six, seven, 
14 and we've got six cards which gives me 18. This is more I could have almost killed him if he played his um what's it called? I wonder. Amara. Why is the tech tracker not working? Still loading. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, anyway, so this is a this is a win. There you go, see, turn five. Right. Hopefully the deck tracker will start working now. Yeah, it's still loading up. Oh, there we go, finally. There we go. And second. Let's just double check if you can see this. Right, um, let's start another game. So you get the idea of this, uh, I could beat my quest as well, I think. Did I? I think I did. Wasn't watching. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Right, so if you have a look here, a bit annoying the point, it doesn't, you can actually see the point, but you can see the highlights. So I've got an earth shot for, for a silence. I don't want to, I don't want to get Spellbreaker or the IMB Cow for a silence because it's too expensive. I want to keep it cheap. So earth shock is a one mana silence to get through taunts or anything nasty. Um, so if you have a look, everything is three mana or less. You've got cold light suit to buff the health. This to buff the Attack this for two big minions in case we need something big, and this is just for Discover Murloc. And it just basically got general card draw during Murlocs. A very simple deck, a couple of charge minions. We'll keep this, just see if we get lucky, we get Murloc tied to call that's what we really want to start off with. Unfortunately not. Um, I'm playing against a druid. So this is very useful because this counters his um, swipe. Okay, let's put this down. There we go. So this the idea is that this is such a strong aggro deck. This is like zoo block, kind of. But it's a bit different. It's just you've got lots of. You need to have a board to play this deck. Everything depends on everything else. If you see what I mean? Next turn, we're going to either buff up or pro probably discover another move. Look. I mean, if he's got a swipe, he's got a swipe. If he doesn't use it this turn, it's unlikely he's going to get swiped next turn, so I'm just going to pick up another another Murloc. Then I'll buff up the next turn, probably. What to do? <laughs> then turn 5, I might be able to win with Bloodlust if he doesn't have any taunts on board. So really, this works a bit like Token Druid. Because you want to have as many things on your deck as possible. Alright, there you go. Because this is even faster than Turn to Druid. But it doesn't have any defensive capabilities in this deck. Alright, so let's discover something here. <coughs> I think no, the Tide Call is good here. Next turn, put the Tide Call and then we'll buff and tap. So. Banana! Other option is Metal Tide to call the Pass Freeze if they've got anything scary on board. Right, so he's ramping up pretty quickly here. Right, so turn 4, we're going to have a full board hopefully. Then scale Oracle. Nah. Nah, okay, I'm going to go with this plant because I don't have much time. 
because I'm getting a bit worried that I've just played right into spreading play, but not much you can do against that. Spreading Plague. If it does have Spreading Plague, I've won. Because Blood Blast is 7 times 3 is 21. That's 32 damage. 32 damage. But he's going to have 35 health to break through, which is a bit of a problem. Um, so we've got the health of most of our minions here. Swipe this and that, maybe. Still won't help him. Oh my goodness, well played. well played. There's no way he can win this now. He's finished. If we put some minions down, I could actually replace the Grimscope. Oh no, I can't. Because I, I, I need to use all five mana for the Bloodlust. So again, a turn five win, it looks like. He didn't have the removal. Even if he armors up, not going to help him. Well also will not help him. Eight. I think I still win. Fifteen damage plus a seven on board. Yeah, still lethal. Yeah. See, and that's why I put the Bloodless in the deck as a finisher, like I do in some of my arena decks. I always make sure I get a Bloodlust in a Shaman deck or a Savage Raw in a Druid deck. Because if you do get lots of cheap minions but they're vulnerable, you want to be able to push that burst damage through really quickly. Okay, I hope you got a nice idea of how this deck works I hope you like it uh, if you got any ideas I can how I can improve the deck oh, the Mikshul and Herod they certainly did in these two games yeah so again <coughs> the three non Murloc cards I got here well totem that's counted like a Murloc card right and drawing the Murlocs right that you got the blood blast for the burst the big burst of damage once you've got three or four Murlocs on, that gives you 12 burst damage, which is usually enough to finish off the enemy. Um, Earthshock, just to silence if they've got really annoying taunts or something like that. Um, and Flame Tongue Totem, which is. Yeah, maybe I can swap one of Flame Tongue Totems for a, for a, a Murloc, but you know, it's, 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 it's very good. It's only two mana, it gives you an extra four attack. It's effectively like a two mana um, fungal mancer, but it's reusable because once the minion next to you dies, the buff goes into the next adjacent minion. And also, I don't really need health for this for the min for the Murlocs because it's a purely aggressive face deck. So yeah, so that attack works really well. I was thinking of putting a a raid leader in, but yeah, we've already got a raid leader in, in, in Grim Scale Oracle effectively, and and the three mana we've got basically all Murlocs have two attack instead of one, which is a um, that card only buffs up for one, this does for two. Yeah, okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next time.